Last night I spent the night by myself, which can sometimes be rather unsettling in the woods. But honestly, the biggest challenge is having to start the wood stove in the morning. It's typically a tailor chore, so I'm not particularly skilled at getting it going, especially with damp wood. Lately I've been writing a lot, and while I've been trying my best to split my time evenly between my trials bike and my 300, I have honestly found more enjoyment in riding my 300 over the trials bike. Expanding my skill set and comfort on the bigger bike has been so much fun, and I actually even did a race recently, which was interesting. As I dive deeper and deeper into the rabbit hole that is motorsports, I have met so many new friends to ride with, and in fact, I ride with friends a few times per week. Which is much better than riding alone, which I hate and I try not to do at all. While the group of people that I normally ride with changes from week to week, the most constant person I ride with is my friend Jeff, who I met through the local trials club. with a variety of people, the type of trails that we take varies from week to week. Some days we take really easy trails and other days we challenge ourselves. On this day we took a hill climb, which the video never does any justice, and it had been raining earlier that morning so the ground was so wet and the roots were so slick. Oh! oh. No way! And some days the biggest struggle we have is our own minds, and not the physical obstacle. Today, my mind was definitely the struggle, and I'm gonna warn you, I struggled hard on this hill climb and fell five different times. I had just had a bad run, had a bad line, and then trying to start at that angle is not happening today. I thought I could walk it up, but it's not gonna. Come on now. 
Oh, get up. Oh, damn it. Oh my god. Come on, Zoe. In hindsight, I really shouldn't have tried to start here, and I should have just gone back down the hill and tried it again. I was being really stubborn, and instead this mistake cost me a lot of time and a lot of extra energy that wasn't even necessary to spend. the left. Mm -hmm. I try to hit it one more time and then I'll come back out and then I'll let you try to take a run at it. And if you make it up then I guess I really have to make it up. <laughs> There becomes a point in which you should just stop and take a break and recollect your thoughts. And I should have done this a long time ago, which resulted in this. And of course, both Jeff and Ed made it up the hill, and now it was my turn to try for the fifth time, I think. Oh, Lord of mercy. It always helps to ride with patience and understanding and encouraging friends as well. I don't I don't know if I could have done this hill climb without my friends being there and encouraging me every step of the way. Something that I'm personally working on as a rider isn't just my riding abilities, but also my ability to get myself out of a mental jam. So in this situation, I could have gotten really, really frustrated, but I tried so hard to keep a cool head, keep a positive outlook, and it paid off in the end. It wasn't the cleanest way of getting up a hill climb, but hey, now I know what I need to come back and work on, and that's all that matters. Okay.